This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. Right now, firefighters in Riverside County are battling a blaze that has doubled in size overnight. Those flames subject to dangerously dry, windy conditions and the winds are fanning the flames. That Highland fire is burning just to the north of Palomar Mountain. It's about 20 miles east of Pala. You can see the rocky terrain. Macy Jenkins from our sister station in Los Angeles has been there at the scene of the fire where crews have been battling it through the night started yesterday afternoon and quickly grew fueled by the Santa Ana winds. Take a look at what's behind us. Now this has been going on for about an hour where uh, fire trucks have come to this hillside and you can see where that smoke is. Those flames are coming in and out, um, up and down and they really are uh, it's 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 fickle. So uh, part of what we're seeing though is some of these flames hopping over to other places. Lots of hot spots and firefighters now working with multiple agencies, Cal Fire, Riverside Fire and surrounding agencies to try to get this contained. At this point, still 0% contained. Adrian, many people still out of their homes wondering what is going to happen to their properties. I'll send it back to you. Always that uncertainty and here at home firefighters made quick work of a brush fire that was east of the 15. You see it there in Rancho Bernardo near Escala Drive. This started out just as 100 square feet of burning brush, but those Santa Ana conditions helped fan it to spread across uh, five acres in just a little over a minute. There were evacuations. Traffic was tied up on the 15 for hours. Firefighters say the fire started where a crew was working on a fire hydrant. I saw some smoke and I was wondering what was going on and then I came outside my house and the construction workers that were down there were just booking up the hill in their cars. More than two dozen single family homes and condos were evacuated as a precaution. Those orders were lifted after four last night. The exact cause has not been determined. One more day to get through these Santa Ana winds. That's how a lot of East County residents feel, at least where winds were pretty strong overnight. NBC7's Nicole Gomez spoke with folks getting started on this breezy Halloween. Well, the winds have died down a lot since overnight here in Alpine, but still neighbors say it's not something to take lightly. When I woke up this morning, my surfboard was blown, you know, away and a bunch of stuff around the yard. So it was interesting. I didn't sleep well last night. I'll be honest with you. I didn't. <laughs> Eddie Rivera just moved to Descanso from South Florida, where he lived through hurricanes and tornadoes, not Santa Ana winds and wildfires. I think a fire is probably a bit more scary and hurricanes are pretty scary. This morning, areas like Alpine were still under a wind advisory, although by mid morning, the near 60 mile per hour gusts they saw overnight had calmed down significantly. Longtime East County residents say they're always prepared for the worst, but so far this Santa Ana event hasn't been as bad as others that have caused fires. Definitely a scary experience. We've had to evacuate a few times, but um, we always have our motorhome packed and ready to go in case, just, you know, in case, but definitely. I mean, there were several homes affected in this area that was really, really bad and tragic. So it's always something to respect. Although it is pretty calm now, Cal Fire says it's still a bad idea to clear out defensible space around your home today. You don't want to be that person that starts a fire because of a power tool spark. Also, if you're driving and you're smoking a cigarette, don't toss your butt out the window because that's also a common way to start a fire on the side of the road or the side of the freeway. Reporting in Alpine, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. NBC7's Ashley Matthews joins us now with a look at your trick-or-treat forecast. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Monica. Yes, we are still dealing with the Santa Ana winds. So in weather alert once again today, elevated to critical fire danger again today because of those winds, very dry conditions, very low humidity as well across San Diego County. Poor air quality too. A lot of blowing dust out there from the Santa Ana winds. So if you've been dealing with allergies today, you are not alone. Here's some highs for you for this afternoon and for some trick or treating. Uh, low 80s at the coast, mid 80s for the inland valleys, low 60s for the mountains, upper 70s for the deserts. Halloween can be scary even for witches, ghosts and zombies. What you need to know to keep you and your costumed kiddos safe this holiday. Stay with us.
Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. New changes are coming when sending your kids to school if they've been exposed to COVID-19. A new California health guidance says they can go to school if they've been exposed to COVID-19 or if they have mild symptoms as long as they don't test positive. Symptoms need to remain mild enough where students can fully participate in school activities and staff can meet that child's care needs without compromising other children. Face masks are also considered for children ages two and older when having respiratory symptoms symptoms. The countdown is on to one of the biggest nights of the year, especially if you're a kid. Halloween, when you get to dress up and eat lots of candy, but it can also be a scary time on the road. So law enforcement will be doing some extra patrols. NBC7's Audra Stafford has some things you can do to keep yourself and your neighbors safe. If you plan to take the kids trick or treating tonight, or maybe you plan to go door to door, just checking out all of the incredible Halloween decorations like these pirate themed homes here in Bressie Ranch. Keep in mind it is getting darker a lot earlier now, so you're going to want to bring a flashlight. And if you or your child is wearing dark clothing like I am, you might want to add a little reflective tape. That way you'll be easier to spot. Who is it? Trick or treat! Trick or treating can be a lot of fun, but it can also be dangerous. Kids may be darting in and out of bushes and around parked cars, and if drivers aren't paying attention, it could lead to an accident. The best way to keep anybody safe from your car is to keep your car in the driveway, in the garage, in the parking space. Will Moore is with Circulate San Diego. He says based on data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, children are two to three times more likely to be killed by drivers on Halloween. That's why the organization is urging drivers, if you don't have to go anywhere, don't. Drive as little as you can. Don't take that extra trip. I remember I, uh, a few years ago, ran out of candy. Uh, and, and the kids are knocking on the door and, and I go out and I get in my car and I put the key in the car and I realize that I really cannot drive out of my neighborhood without risking a lot of really bad things happening. And so I went and trick-or-treated myself uh, a big handful of candy from the neighbor's house. So there are other things you can do besides make that one extra trip. If you do have to drive somewhere tonight, police urge you to slow down, take extra time at intersections and entering and exiting driveways, and never drive distracted or impaired. And if you do come here to Bressie Ranch to check out the decorations or anywhere else, make sure that you pull over and park. Get out to look at them. Don't try to do it while you're driving. From Bressie Ranch in Carlsbad, I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. Happy Halloween. We'll have a look at your trick or treat forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response is dedicated to helping you. You guys were able to get a different result. I have so much gratitude. Whether it's in Spanish or English. We're one team. One team. Investigating, getting answers, making sure every phone call, every email gets a response. Because this isn't just our job. This is our community too. And we're here to help. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response. One team fighting for you and your money. Hello, happy Tuesday and happy Halloween to you. Hope you have fun. Later on today, trick or treating, let's take a look at San Diego's only 10 day forecast to get you ready for the rest of the week too. We should be at low 80s for today at the coast and then high pressure is gonna start to weaken when we see these Santa Ana's kind of making their way out of the area. So mid 70s for the coast, which is still above average for this time of year for the weekend. Uh, mid to upper 80s for the inland valleys for today and then low 80s for the weekend. A quick look at the mountains and deserts as well. Thank you, Ashley. San Diego County Animal Services needs your help. Their shelters are currently overcrowded with dogs and cats. And to free up space, they're waiving all adoption fees. Anyone interested in adopting is encouraged to stop by. Pick up one of those cute little critters. More coverage account on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.